Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a slimline 12 volt voltmeter that can be used on your kayak, a boat, or on a control box. Now, the good part about this 12 volt meter is that it's very slim and only requires one small hole to be drilled as opposed to the usual gauge hole that has to be drilled. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the voltmeter I'm going to be using in this project. And you can see it's rectangular in shape. And what I like about this is it's very narrow and it's already hardwired and the wiring comes out of the back. And because of its shape, you don't have to do any drilling in the kayak except for the wiring right here. And that's a very, very small hole you need to drill. And it can be attached to a box or to the side of your kayak wherever you want to put it with either goop adhesive or even double-sided tape and what makes this work better is because typically the voltmeters used for these projects need an over one inch in diameter hole to be drilled through the kayak or the box or wherever you want to put it. And sometimes this length is too long for it to be fit on your kayak. Now this one is longer than most, but even the ones that are half this size are still about an inch long. And then you add on the connectors on the back and you run into space problems. So that's why I'm going to be using this one on my battery box. And I'll show you how I did it. I decided to mount it on the top of my power station battery box and so I marked with a marker behind the voltmeter where the wiring needs to go through the top of this box. Because the wires from the voltmeter were very small diameter, I needed to splice in some larger gauge wire that would fit using the ring connectors that I have there. So what I did was I cut these two sections, the red and black wires, stripped each end and then I wrapped them together, soldered them together, and then used some marine heat shrink tubing over the connection and then added the marine heat shrink ring connectors to the ends so it would fit on the fuse box that I have in the top lid of my power station box. This is the final wiring setup for the voltmeter. Coming through the top of the power station box is the original wiring. And then I have a little tie down here to keep it in place. And the positive runs to this circuit I have set up on the fuse box. And then the negative comes up here. And that's it. And this is the front of the box after I've given it power and you can see it's reading 12.5 volts. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.